how can we use fabrics like this one? This is tool with paint and glitter. Firstly, not in the office. Such fabrics need to be shaken off. So that non-glued glitter crumbles. From this tool, nothing crumbled at all. After that, we can cut into individual flowers, petals, leaves. Of course, it depends on what kind of design such tool has. I cut it very close to the drawing, leaving less than one millimeter around the flower. Now I can sew this flower whatever I want. After cutting, there is still such an edge. It can be used as well. For example, you can gathering on one side and twist into a flower. For example, in a rose. Will it be a rose or a flower of a special design? It depends on the starting fabrics design. Working with embroidery tool like this one, we can also cut out individual flowers, leaves. But in this video, I want to explain how to iron these types of tool. This tool is embroidered with threads. You need to iron it on the wrong side. And the flowers on this tool are made of paint, glue and glitter, and they will stick to a hot iron. So what to do? Over the wrong side of this tool, put a layer of non-stretch cotton fabric and iron it only over cotton fabric. Don't iron the tool without cotton fabric. This is a very important nuance. How to make these flowers? If you remember, I used this fabric. There was such cut out edge of two left, such a strip. So I will use this strip. Along this side, I'm gathering the tool. So I made it. After that, I twist the tool like this. And now I'm sewing same allowances, like this. I sew in two threads. As a result, I will have a flower similar to the one that is now on the table. That's all. Here is my result.